aspiring engineers in cybersecurity, what is your advice on getting into cybersecurity? Mm, that's a great question, man. And this is also one that if you had asked me like three, four, five years ago, my answer would be different. But now where I'm at, like I'm seeing things differently, right? Um, quite honestly, mm. and also like with like mentoring people on like Cyborgs Academy, and also like just seeing the journeys of people. I think I, I I think of it differently these days, right? With regards to my advice, my advice is honestly, pick something and get good at it, right? This this goes back into the domain specific thing. I see so many people that are like just all over the place, right? You're not gonna get good at anything if you don't get good at something at the very least, right? Like, don't just jump around, like go from like learning offensive to like, def like, yes, knowing multiple things in cybersecurity makes you better and well-rounded. But if you're not good at something, like one thing, one good enough thing, nobody's really wanting to hire you because how do they justify you being on their team? Like how, like, yes, you might be good at all these things, but how do you fit in to their company or their organization, right? Think about, let's not even, let's just think about it from a higher manager's perspective. When they're hiring somebody for a role, they need somebody to fulfill a certain requirement, a certain job requirement, right? So hmm. how do you become that person that fulfills that job requirement? Right? Think of it as, okay, I want to be a SUC analyst. Okay, what does a SUC analyst need to know? I need to know how to use SIMs, EDRs, analyze logs, know how like, uh, 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 Windows systems work, how Linux system works, how Active Directory works, maybe some cloud, right? I need to understand how attackers compromise these systems, but more importantly, how to detect that, how to analyze that, right? I need to understand like how to look at logs, how to look at processes, how to look at uh, memory, right? You know, system memory, like Windows memory, like look at Linux memory. I need to know uh, how to analyze malware, right? Understand like what hashes are. Like think of it as, as a perspective of a higher manager hiring you for a job what are they looking for right and build those skills now when you get into the industry you can do whatever you want you could continue to dig deeper into like defensive security if you're a stock analyst like myself i did the same thing i, I dug deeper and deeper into like getting better at be, being a, a, a detection engineer or a stock analyst or a threat hunter yeah. or you know a cloud threat detection or like now where i do security response engineering like i've been digging deeper into this domain. But what's to say like, you know, a few years down the line, I can't maybe transition into like offensive security or maybe like some DevSecOps or something else. I can, I can do that if I want to, because I have a solid foundation in something else that picking up the skills for this other thing, it's not gonna be so much harder for me because I already know how to get good at something. It's like, I know I can, I can use that experience I, I, I got from getting good at defensive security to transition into another field, right? So get good. At something, I, I love the advice from the book. So good, they can't ignore you by Cal Newport. It's like some people want to pursue their passion. That's fine and great and all, but you, you also have to factor in like you you live in in, in 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 this world where you get paid for the value you provide to an organization, right? Your, your passion yeah. might be in like knowing how to do everything in offensive security and defensive security. That's great and all, but you need to get good at something so good they can't ignore you like your skills are so good that they can't ignore you they can't but hire you for this role right and that also mm -hmm. applies into like even though you're an entry-level candidate i know there's the sentiment out there where like entry-level roles should be for people without experience I and i agree with that but you have to set yourself apart from other people right you, it's it's a job market i get that but it's also a competition because it's like they're going to choose the best candidates. So how do you stand out? How do you become the best candidate, right? How do you keep building your skills to get better at what you do? How do you build your communication skills or your interviewing skills to get better at talking to people and sharing your skills, sharing your experiences? How do you build all of these things that help you be a better candidate, right? Ultimately, you, you want to be so good they can't ignore you. That's how you get the job. That's how you get into the industry and how you transition, you know, get other, get other jobs, transition into different roles, all of that stuff. So I think... Mm. You know, first, I mean, if, if you can, like, read that book so good they can't ignore you. It's very practical. But also, like, get really good at something, right? And while you're applying for jobs, don't give up. Like, just keep getting better at what you do. Keep building your skills. Keep doing those CTFs. Keep, keep doing those home labs. Keep, like, connecting with people. Like, just 
keep building and building and building. Eventually, you get to a point where like you're you're really good at this one thing, and you can use that to get your foot in the door. And then from there, you can just like do whatever you want. You can build more skills, maybe in cloud, in like DevSecOps, in DevOps, in um, application security, offensive security, whatever the case is. So that's my advice. Wow, no, that's incredible, bro. And I feel like that ad ad advice really covers off what someone needs to know is to look at something, look at a specific role and go after the specific skills yeah. for that role and really learn it through and through. And, and, and it's similar to a conversation I was having with another guest of, you know, people loving to jump around or move into different roles, but learning the skills of that one role yeah. and becoming really good at it to the point where you're the go-to yes. of this specific thing yeah. is super important for your career, Yeah, uh, um, which is some incredible advice and definitely some advice that will be super helpful for all those trying to get into the industry, those aspiring yeah. cybersecurity professionals.